Hello, hello, hello. Solutions to problem, I think it's 89. The pendulum in an elevator. If you stand on the ground at home, or you stand in an elevator which is not moving at all, or which is moving at a constant speed, then your weight is mg. g is the gravitational acceleration for which we take 9.81 meters per second square. Of course, your bathroom scales are not calibrated in terms of newtons. mg would have a unit of newton. In Europe, my bathroom scales are calibrated in terms of Kilogram. So you'll have to accept that for now. But that's irrelevant. That has nothing to do with this problem. So, if now your elevator is going to go upwards with an acceleration A, then your weight increases and it becomes M times g plus a, g being 9.81, a, whatever it is. So you weigh more. Believe me, you really weigh more. Stand on your bathroom scale. I don't care in what units it's calibrated. You will weigh more. If now the elevator is being accelerated downwards, in our case, 6.5 meters per second square, then you wait, if you stand into that elevator, is m times g minus a. So your weight goes down. It's a fast way to lose weight, isn't it? What makes a pendulum oscillate back and forth. That's the restoring force on the mass m at the end of the pendulum. In a way, it's the weight of that mass. And so when the elevator is being accelerated downwards, the weight of that mass is m times g minus a. And so, the small angle approximation period of a pendulum is then no longer 2 pi times the square root of L over g, but it is 2 pi times the square root of L over g minus a. And that is 1.72 times larger, if A is 6.5, than when you only have G, which is 9.81. Since that is 1.72 times larger, it means that the period, small angle approximation, is 1.72 times larger than 1.50 seconds. And that is, what is it, 2.58 seconds. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. But that's 2.58 seconds, that's the answer. Now, when the cable breaks, you are in free fall, the elevator is in free fall, the pendulum is in free fall. Nothing has weight anymore. So the mass at the end of the string of the pendulum has also no weight. So there is no restoring force anymore. Cannot do this back and forth because it is that restoring force that makes it go back and forth. And that restoring force that restoring force is zero. So the period is then infinitely large. 
What that means is it's not moving. If you put the pendulum like this in your elevator, here is the mass, and you let it go, it would stay there. If you took the pendulum, this is the end of the pendulum, and this is the mass like this, with the mass up, and you let it go, it would stay like that. So it's no longer oscillating. Now the notion that you could measure that is of course a different story, because you are in the elevator, you will crash, and you won't even be able to tell the story to your friends. But that's a different story. So, there is no oscillation anymore. That means the period is infinitely long. <laughs> Whether you give that 10 digit precision or 100 digit precision is up to you. The pendulum is no longer a pendulum. In the ISS, in the International Space Station, you can do that. You can take that string with a mass at the end and you can put it in any position you want to, take your hands off, and it will stay there. Apart from the fact that when you take your hands off, you may have touched it and given it a little push, so it may start drifting away from you. But it's no longer a pendulum. Period. Infinitely high. Okay, high school problem, I agree. Uh, you can probably even do it more or less in your head. <laughs> yeah, I said you can do it in three minutes and I still stick to that. Yes, you can do it in three minutes. Okay, have a nice day and take care. And yes, yes, yes. Of course, of course we are friends. I said in free fall, everything is weightless. It may help you that you realize that your weight is n times g minus a. If a now, which is the acceleration downwards of your elevator, is g, then g minus a is zero. And so your weight is zero. Okay, I thought I would add that. But I'm sure you got that anyhow.